It's not something that's talked about very often. We're talking about feminine hygiene products, but for most women, they're a part of daily life. While most of us don't think twice about having access to them, there's a concern that some inmates in Ohio's prisons aren't getting what they need. State House reporter Morgan Trow learned there is no set protocol when it comes to feminine hygiene products, so a lawmaker wants to change that. Ohio law does not explicitly state that feminine hygiene products need to be given to those incarcerated who need them. I have seen females walking around in the, the day room, you know, with blood in their pants and request over and over. We literally would sit there for days and be ignored. After getting charged with a drug offense, Melissa Hall was sentenced to two years in a regional jail in West Virginia. After working with Ohio nonprofit Opportunities People's Justice Leaders, she says the Buckeye State is the same. The stigma behind anyone that's incarcerated, they're like less than than a normal citizen. Speaking with formerly incarcerated people across Ohio, Democratic State Representative Latina Humphrey says she was disturbed that people in prisons and jails did not have ample access to the necessities they deserve. Folks who are incarcerated, women who are incarcerated are humans too. And, and if I'm being honest, this is something that should have been implemented um, a long time ago. The lawmaker introduced a bill that would require correctional facilities to provide inmates with an adequate supply of feminine hygiene products. It would also make sure the institutions have enough. The bill has already received bipartisan support. This is a human rights issue. Humphrey knows the bill has a slim chance of getting through with only six weeks left to pass, but she doesn't have an opponent for this election, so she knows she is going to reintroduce it next year. She says this is her way of putting the idea into people's minds. Since the Ohio law is vague about hygiene products for inmates, we called and emailed the Department of Corrections to get its thoughts on the bill. We also asked if they have a menstruation protocol and what it is, if supplies are free, how many products people receive, if there's a limit, if the department is receiving enough funding for the products, and other clarifying questions. The department only answered two of our eight questions, saying that they have products for free and to buy. I think that it's wonderful that, that some attention is actually going toward that. Hall, who is now three years sober, says these products could have made her time much more productive and it would have made her re-entry easier. At the State House, I'm Morgan Trow reporting.